Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over some sample exam questions for the CBQ specialist exam. So this one is a little bit, um, this exam is a little bit more specialized towards the CBQ end, which is not standard within out of the box sales source. It is um, a separate type of cloud, I guess, as you have sales cloud and uh, service cloud, stuff like that. Um, and there isn't a whole lot of resources, so I'd be sure to study really hard for this exam. Um, but let's go ahead and go over some of the sample exam questions. All right, number one. Universal Containers sells a subscription product, Z, that is sold in yearly segments, but would like to prevent the user from discounting the first segment. How would a CPQ admin ensure the user would not will not be able to find the discount of the first segment? Choose one answer. A. Write a price rule to run when a product code equals Z and segment index will equals 1 with a price action setting non-discountable to true. B. Set the first segment term editable to only custom segments in the yearly price dimension record. C, create two price dimensions, then set the non-discountable to false on the first price dimension. Or D, create a price rule to inject zero into the additional discount when the product code equals product Z and the initial segment equals true. Choose one answer. And the correct answer is A, write a price rule to run when uh, product code equals product C and segment equals segment index equals one with a price action setting to non-discountable equals true. So for this, the correct answer we were going for was that we wanted to create a price rule. Um, so that leaves us with A or D and the correct uh, formulas for that would be A, or you're creating um, the product, the price rule for the product code when it's equal to Z, the segment index is one, so it's in the first segment, and the price action, we don't want it, we would want it to be non-discountable. And so it's different um, as with the price rule would inject, inject zero into the additional discount when the product equals Z and the initial segment equals true. Um, the initial segment would equal one is what we would want or the segment index. All right, let's go ahead and move into number two. Universal Containers has a bundle configured and wants to add a user searchable products in to the configuration that will affect the bundle price. How should the CPQ admin configure the bundle? Choose one answer. A, as a product option. B, as a product feature. C, add a product rule. D, add a product, or price rule is C, and then product rule is D, excuse me. All right, and choose one answer. All right, and the correct answer is A, add it as a product option. So the two key things in this question is that you want it to be um, a user selectable product that would kind of rule out any type of rule, like a price rule or a product rule. So you're left with A and B, and it will affect the price. So that's why we want it to be the product option rather than the product feature. All right, let's go ahead and move on to number three. When configuring a bundle, Universal Containers users must select product B and product C in order to add a maintenance product A. How should the CPQ admin set this up to meet the requirement? Choose one answer. A. Create an option constraint group maintenance to require that product A can only be selected when products B and C are selected. B, create a dependency option constraint for product B and an exclusion option for constraint for product C. C, create two exclusion option constraints for products B and C 
and have product A as the constrained option for both option constraints. Or D, create two dependency option constraints for products B and C and have product A as the constraining option for both constraints. Again, choose one answer. All right, and the correct answer is A. So it's not C or D because we don't want to be creating option constraints, especially for B and C, because um, it would affect B and C before you have A. Um, and the question is asking that you have to select B and C first before you add A. Um, so that's a little bit backwards. And it is A because that's also the most simple answer. In Salesforce, generally on their exams, you want to choose the most simple option as far as questions if you're going between the two that could work. All right, and question four. Based on a customer's requirements, the CPQ admin has created multiple configuration attributes and assigned them to a single feature. Which configuration is valid for displaying the attributes? Choose one answer. A, above or below all product options in the feature. B, above or below the feature in the bundle. C, above or below all features in the bundle. Or D, above all product options in the feature. Again, choose one answer. And the correct answer is A. All right, I hope this really helped you guys if you are studying for the CPQ admin exam. Um, be sure to like the video and subscribe. It really helps me make more helpful videos like this. Uh, be sure to drop any questions that you have below um, as far as CPQ or Salesforce goes. I'll be happy to help you guys. Now catch you in the next one.